So on Sunday, a man was shot outside of a Walmart. Now this is in Monica, Pennsylvania, after getting into an argument with another man. There was a good Samaritan that walked up after this man was shot in the abdomen and tried to save his life. A little bit of CPR, maybe anything he could do to maybe stop the bleeding. Who knows, he was trying to save his life. Then an off duty cop showed up and said, oh my God, this seems like a great situation. Maybe he has some kind of life saving training involved with his police work. No, the off duty police officer ran up, shoved the man that was trying to save someone else's life onto the ground. And his head bounced off the ground and um, he did eventually die. That's what happened. A lawyer uh, for this man, the man who died, his name is Kenneth Vineyard. He was trying to save someone else's life. His lawyer, uh, after this whole thing went down, had some things to say about this devastating situation. Let's watch. As the victim of that shooting lay bleeding, a good Samaritan named Kenneth Vineyard rushed to the victim to render aid. The unidentified man insisted that Mr. Vineyard step away and violently pushed Mr. Vineyard to the ground where he struck his head on the pavement. I have come to learn that the unidentified individual who violently pushed Mr. Vineyard is a police officer employed by the Center Township Police Department. While our investigation is ongoing, this appears to me to be another instance of senseless police violence. There was no excuse for the officer involved to engage in any physical act, let alone a violent shove that caused the death of a man who was just trying to help another human being that he did not know. It's uh, Kenneth Vineyard, as you saw that picture there really fast. And by the way, the man he was trying to save did survive. Horribly enough, he didn't because an off duty police officer decided to jump in. Here's some details of all the things that went down there. It was around 6.30 when gunfire erupted in the parking lot of the Monica Walmart, where police say Rashawn Smith, who's 20, was shot in the abdomen by Yeshua Bratcher. As the victim of the shooting lay bleeding, a good Samaritan, Kenneth Vineyard, rushed to the victim to render some aid. Once the paramedics arrived, Sanson said Vineyard stepped away to allow them to do their job. Then a man in plain clothes demanded that Vineyard step away from the victim. The 48 year old uh, tried to explain to the unidentified man that he was simply trying to help and make his way to his own fiance who was nearby. The unidentified man insisted Mr. Vineyard step away and finally pushed him to the ground where then he struck his head on the pavement as we've been hearing about. The officer was not in uniform, of course, he was off duty. He's not like he's walking around in his uni when he's uh, not working. Uh, and he also didn't identify himself as an off duty police officer. I'm not sure if that would have helped anyway. Uh, so Vineyard's fiance began chest compressions while first responders tended to him as he had no pulse. He was later rushed to Beaver County Hospital where he died from those injuries. Um, Here's a recent post from his Facebook just to show the uh, the reality of who this uh, guy was. There he is with his daughter. They were at some amusement park. Happy National Daughters Day. Uh, so you might uh, wonder, maybe the police response to this whole thing might be some kind of responsibility. Maybe point out the fact that we don't like our officers attacking other people trying to do good things in the community. I could maybe hope the police officers would do something good in the community. This is what they said instead. State police confirmed via a press release on Monday that they are investigating Vineyard's death. As of Tuesday evening, the officer under investigation has not been publicly identified by state police or the Center Township Police Department. The county policy on issues arising from police use of force requires that the investigation be conducted by an outside agency. That's what the Beaver County District Attorney David Lozier said. The state police are conducting that investigation. We also must wait for the autopsy and labs and medical issues before we make any decisions. Those labs and the medical evaluation will take several weeks. We need patience so we can do this right. Here's my negative assumptions about this. They're hoping maybe there's something else wrong health wise with the man that died. But like it wasn't the shove and the fall and the head bouncing off the ground that did it. It was something else. He had some kind of issue that it really wasn't our fault. We're gonna wait and try and figure out as many different ways possible to excuse this off duty police officer's use of force. Why are we talking about use of force with an off duty police officer? When you're not on duty, you don't have any authority to do things like this. I'm a police officer that's not working. I'm gonna tell you what to do and shove you on the ground. What other job does that work for? Where you can just do what you normally do at work, which is apparently attack people. And then when you're off duty, just do it because you still got it in your, it's still flowing through your veins. Why is that the thing? This is not a use of force. This is a, a civilian running up on another civilian and shoving him to the ground because he's angry about him trying to help another guy. One more thing on this, Dan. Interesting enough, 
Police have charged Yeshua Bratcher with attempted homicide, aggravated assault, reckless endangerment, and a firearms violation. He's being held in the Beaver County Jail without bail. So the guy who who took the shot at the guy who started this whole thing, rightfully is in jail. But the victim, the the assailant of the actual victim who died, is still roaming the streets and getting independent police investigations. That'll end in nothing, Dan. Yeah, because. The reason they'll end in nothing is because of a police culture that you protect your own. No matter how badly they mess up, you still make sure, hey, we're not gonna make sure you, we're gonna make sure you don't lose your life over this, even though the people who are in the line of fire to your mistakes oftentimes do, or their lives are irreparably changed or damaged or harmed. And we'll find ways so that the city, i.e. taxpayers, i.e. essentially the people that you brutalize, will pay it back in the form of trainings that we have to pay for or settlements that the city has to pay out. But ultimately at the end of the day, police culture is protecting their own. and. There are arguments for why there are complicated reasons for doing this. I think that when you see time and time again, when you have stories like this where, like you're saying, an off duty cop has picked the wrong person to assault and attack and ultimately kill because this is someone who, in addition to being like an upstanding person, who was literally a good Samaritan in this case. And so you almost wish it was the other way around where, um, the good Samaritan was the officer because you need more officers who have good judgment, who jump in when the moment is right, when you have them there. But too often their work is overshadowed by absolute jerks like this guy. There's a, if there's an emergency situation, more and more people would look up and if they see a cop showing up, they know it's gonna get worse. That's something that they're gonna have to address or they just keep ignoring and keep cultivating this type of, of aggression that they'll even carry out when they're not even working. 